Come at me, bro. Come at me. Vertical slice. Shields equipment. Die. That was exhilarating. Ever since we when we came out of the Silent Realm, they beefed up the enemies here, so we're going to be having more of a challenge than we have had ever before with the enemies. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pal Place, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we uh, did the Silent Realm, got the tears, and got our gift, which the, our gift is the Water Dragon Scale, which allows us to swim freely underwater. So, we have that, but also in between episodes, I got a ton of treasure and a ton of bugs. Now, the reason why I have zero of these and zero of these is because I upgraded stuff. I upgraded our, first off, I upgraded our shield, which the upgrade to the shield, we upgraded the sacred shield to the divine shield. And to do that, you give Gondo, Gondo one dusk relic, two bird's feathers, three ornamental skulls, and 100 rupees. I'm doing Pokemon bio, bios right now. We also, we upgraded our slingshot. We upgraded to the scatter shot. It scatters one single seed into a bunch of pieces. So you can cover a wider area and I believe you can go farther distances than you can normally. A little bit. And also, we upgraded the beetle. We upgraded to the quick beetle. Hold A and you can go, uh, I think, twice as fast as you can before. I gave Gondo the two ancient flowers, one, two hornet larvas, and one golden skull and 50 rupees to increase the flight speed. So we now have the quick beetle. And also, you might may have noticed that when I selected that, that we can now hold a lot more. Well, I upgraded the bomb, our medium bomb bag, bomb bag into the large bomb bag. I paid Gondo three lizard's tails, four jelly blobs, two hornet larva, one golden skull, and 100 rupees to get to make it hold 15 bombs. So we can now we can now hold a total of 25 bombs. And also we upgraded the the seed satchel from small to large. To do it from small to medium, I paid four amber relics, three monster claws, three ornamental skulls, and 50 rupees. A lot. But even more so when I upgraded it to the large satchel, which cost me five amber relics, three monster claws, one golden skull, and one bluebird feather. We paid a lot. Also, I'm surprised I was able to do that without stuttering my head off. Um, also, I we got two potions. Well, one with us. I upgraded our red potion so it can be used twice and it can refill all of your hearts. But we don't have that because we'll need have use of an empty bottle. And also we have a stamina potion plus. So our stamina will not deplete at all for a full three minutes. So we can run solid and climb stuff for three minutes. So we can head on into the tree. This is actually my fourth take of this episode. The first time, let's see, some stuff happened. I'm, I'm losing track in my mind. The second time, like, I re discovered that like, I wasn't even recording or something. Then the other time, I, let's see, the, the last time, like, I discovered that my, the game's audio was at zero decibels, and that's horrible. Because that means it, it, it's normally at negative 18 decibels. So it was blasting, and you could not hear me, like, at all for the entire episode. Which was ba bad, because that episode's commentary was fantastic. That was probably one of the best episodes of Pal Place we've had so thus far. So that kind of took the wind out of my sails. I'll, I'll still try to do things as best I can. In fact, all these guys, which I want to buy up. Oh wow, that's cool. Come on. 
Okay. And let's go ahead and get the Gus Bellows. This is like a Twilight Princess puzzle within the, um, the Ice Mansion, which I love that mansion. Um, with the Ice Mansion, there's something like this, except you had to do it with the, um, the ball and chain. There are three secrets, four secrets to this tree, and I will be showing them all, which means I have to climb this tree three times. Ugh. Gross. Ow. That didn't hurt. I don't know why I said ow. Let's go ahead and head on up here. Now we're gonna need the beetle up here, so let's mi we might as well do it now. So we don't have to angle it around and stuff. Go ahead and grab the bee's nest and drop it. Hopefully that wasn't too fast, so it wasn't just like a blur and you're like, what? Nope, you get off of me. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go the high road because the, the Skulltolas can't... The baby Skulltolas, I'm not sure what they're called, can't follow us up here, so we're gonna climb up this way. That was the whole purpose of getting rid of the bee's nest. No, don't you dare. Don't. I do not want to fall. I do not want to fall. No. Oh, barely. Barely made it. Okay, actually, we want to place beacons. Here. Uh, here. Oh, wow. And here. Okay. Actually, that might make it four secrets, now that I think of it. So, let's go on in here. Ooh, this is where I pulled out a trick shot. Okay, I discovered this. You can do this awesome, awesome trick shot. Curve it. Shoot! Get another one. Oh, man. Nope, don't you dare. I don't want to ruin this. Hopefully he won't see us. Roll. Curve, 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 curve. Throw another one. This one, that's the good shot. Okay. Come on. We're pointing it down. Roll. Uh oh. Scooby Doo. Another one for good measure. Oh boy. Come on. Perfect! No. Use this opportunity to hit him from behind. No! Oh, good. It doesn't punish us that bad. Well, before I was able to do him in, in just like five shots, but... Eh. You better ruh oh Scooby-Doo. See me? That bomb's mine. You didn't even touch me. Well, you did. You pushed me off with your big belly. Goon. My first couple tries were better than that, and I'll I'll try not to compare everything I do this episode with the earlier tries. Okay. We want to sneak here. other things? No? Sweet. So let's go ahead and take care of these keys. So I'm gonna try to hit them onto the tree. Because if they drop a monster claw, which I'm in desperate need of. There's one. Good. We now have one, I believe. Those um, pouches really, really gouged out my wallet. Is that a word, a term? So, I actually... Master, listen clo closely. Do you hear that? Now we'll get back to what I was going to say in a second. You 
caught one woodland rhino beetle. Collectors often polish the net. Oh, I already said these. <laughs> so I actually haven't recorded in two weeks, just counting today. And I'll tell you why in a second. You have reached the top of the tree. From this vantage point, you have a good view of the woods. Perhaps you'll see an area you haven't explored. That noise was actually snoring. Master, look up there. I have confirmed the discovery of a new kikwi. Analysis indicates a 90% chance that the sounds we've been hearing were the loud snores of this kikwi. Let's use our shooter, uh, sling, scattershot, scattershot. Kick wee! Who's it? I'm napping. Ooh, look at that, a real life human. Haven't seen one of you in a while, Quirk. They used to, ca they used to call me Yerbal. Now I'm just an old kick wee hermit. I watch over this forest here when I'm not napping. I don't know how you wandered all the way up here, but let me ask you something. Can you really see me? No. Faber, you're a fibbity faber, Quirk. And just how did you peg me with your fancy shooter thing without being able to see me, eh? But forget all all that mo nonsense and tell me, Quirk. What business does a real live human have in these parts? The flame. You're out questing for a flame to enhance your sword, Quirk. So that you can find someone important to you, eh? About how about that? A human who can see me and sees a great flame, Quirk. Listen, you promise not to breathe a word about what I'm about to tell you to another soul? I'm serious, Quirk. I promise. Alright, I'll tell you. But remember, it's a secret to everybody. Referencing Zelda 2. <laughs> only re only old men reference Zelda 2. <laughs> The flame that you seek is mo is most likely Ferrar's flame. Ferrar's flame. Yes, yes, Ferrar's flame. That story begins a long, very long ago, when the goddess was still with us, Quirk. The goddess gave the flame to the water dragon, a great spirit that presides over fair and woods. Beautiful shot of the tree. The way I hear it is she left the flame in the care of the water dragon so that one day, the mighty dragon could pass it on to the one from the sky. You see, Quirk, I've got a hunch that the goddess is, was talking about you, lad, and my voice changes every few seconds. Well, that settles it. You must seek out the mighty water dragon. Why do you keep saying mighty? Is that Elden? Way off the distance. Her lair is deep in the lake to the south of these woods, Quirk. She watches over the flame lair. There's a problem, though. The gate that leads to that lake is sealed shut to all those judged unworthy. But don't worry, Quirk. I'll let you in on the trick trick to open in the gate. To open the gate, you have to channel the power of the goddess into the symbol carved into its doors, Quirk. Ah, uh, but it isn't so simple. The symbol is incomplete. To unlock the gate, you must make you must make the symbol whole. Only way you'll know what the complete symbol should look like is to first find that same completed same symbol somewhere else in these woods. Um, no. I, I know where that is. Yes, yes, I, I know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> oh, wait up! What now? I forgot to mention this earlier, but it's important. Her Excellence, the Water Dragon, is very persnickety about manners, so watch yours. I've heard stories of folks who caught her in a fussy mood. They ended up as mid-morning snacks, Quirk. I probably taste like old cave moss, but I'm not in a hurry to become a royal meal, Quirk. So don't let her know I told you about Ferrar's flame, okay? And remember, when you're in her hall, you better be on your best behavior and be a gracious guest. I'll be here napping if you need some of my elder wisdom. See you around, Quirk. Oh my word, my, my voice is weird after <laughs> doing that voice. Ugh. Okay, so... There are three secrets. First, let's see if we can do the one that I don't think we can do. That that one is here.
Oh, we can. Can we? Oh, wow, we can. Hopefully. Okay. Mm. Let's hold off on that for now. It's there if you want to get it, but I'm going to hold off on that one for now. This one, though, I'll get. Okay, up here. And... Wait, what? Drop down. Drop. Please land right... Good. Okay. That, that's, per that's, that's mean of the programmers. If you fell, you'd have to climb all the way back up there. That's just mean. And... Jump side and up. Let's try that again. Jump side... Up. Come on. Oh, come on. I'm hitting that. There we go. I talk about falling, and then I jump all over the place. Okay, we're gonna cut back to the top of the tree. Well, the semi-top of the tree. And we're back. Okay, what we want to do is... Is hang here. I'm not joking. This is... It's really this convoluted. Okay, see your shadow? That is accurate, even though I have no idea how your shadow can be in here. Drop. Okay, then what you want to do... Now, there... You have a couple things that can kill this guy. Uh, I don't think... that. Yeah, that won't kill him. It'll just turn him to the side. But... And this won't kill him. But this is the best way to kill him, I think. Eat the bomb. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh. Okay, now that tunnel will reach down over there so you can get back to the entrance. But let's first run. Okay. And run over here. Really dumb to run like this on that narrow ledge, but... I'm confident in my abilities of the game, and we get 300 rupees for that. Now, there's one more secret, and I actually won't cut to this one because it's easy to get to. I want to do is back up a little bit. And run. Okay. Through this tunnel, there will be a bunch of keys. There will be a bunch of keys. And there's a treasure. There it is. Sweet. Needed that. Let's lure them in here. Come on. Crunching blow! Which is entirely unnecessary, necessary and we miss. Okay. Let's see. Which entrance is the one we want to get to? We want to get to that one. Now we can get back to where we started. But there's no reason why do we want to. So let's go this way. Oh wait, no, no, no. No, no, that's wrong. Go this way. Turn around and almost fall off the thing. Uh, where are we going again? Okay, we're going... No, where are we going? Okay, that's the entrance we want to get to. So drop down. Pick drop. Yeah, that's the vine entrance, so let's go ahead and shoot him. And drop. And we're at the entrance. And from here, there's one more place where we want to drop. Now, like I said, that one goddess cube that I didn't get, you guys can get it if you want, but I personally don't get it because don't want to get it. Because there there's another point in time in the game when it it'd be better to get it. That was scary. Swing! And there it is! So, the reason why I haven't been recording for two weeks. First of all, I recorded maybe ten episodes ahead. And I recorded about ten episodes ahead before Zade came over. And I don't know why, I just did. And... So, yeah, I, I did, and then I found out that I could no longer edit ep episodes because there's apparently a well-known glitch within the Windows 7 Live Movie Maker software 
that makes it so... It makes it so when you switch to the 16-9 ratio, it will keep it at 4 by 3 but to make it 16-9, it'll just put black bars on it. The problem with this is that um, Skyward Sword is a 16 by 9 game. So by reducing it to 4x3, everything is squashed. So if I were to do any any more episodes, they would be squashed. I estimate an 80% 80, 80 probability that this symbol is the carve is the one the hermit was describing. I recommend you memorize its shape. So cannonball falls in the water and it makes ripples in the water. Got it. So I couldn't put out any more episodes, which really stunk. So I, I looked for two weeks as to what software I could get. It took a long time, but I finally found one, uh, thanks to my dad for suggesting it, because since that's what he used to use, is um, Cybernet's Power Director 12. And so I used it, and well, I got the trial version. And so I got the trial version, pretty oh, sweet. And I liked it so much that once the trial version expires, I'm gonna get the full version. So I'm back. I'm back up online, and it, I don't like it in some in some respects. Like I don't like how it doesn't. You can't customize your your information as well. You can't customize stuff. But I like. It. Oh man. I, but I like it in that the editing is better. The editing processes are better. Oh. I tried to stab. There we go. And Jelly Bob for, Bob for our troubles. Pretty cool. So, yeah, I, I now have Power Director, but it was really worrying. You guys couldn't t couldn't have told been able to tell because you know I recorded ahead, so you guys so there were no me episode areas missed. Oh wow! But you know it was stressful for me because I wasn't recording. So if I seem a little bit rusty in the game and stuff, it's because I haven't played. Well, I I've played because I was grinding, but yeah. So we're going to oh, wait. Master, my calculations indicate there's an 85% probability that the sacred pla that a sacred flame lies beyond this this gate. I have also deduced the power of the goddess the Kikwi Hermit referred to is in fact Skyward Strike. Charge your sword while standing in front of the gate and use its energy to draw the missing portion of the symbol. So basically graffiti, <laughs> except the way we want it to be. Okay, so Skyward Strike, I guess. So Link's Link's a t uh, teenage adolescent who does graffiti. So let's go ahead and do some graffiti. Sir, go. Da 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 da. The masked vandal, <laughs> and it registers. Uh, I'm surprised that 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 registered. That's pretty funny. Link, the masked vandal. Dun 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 and next episode, you'll get to see the Masked Vandal dance more. And I'll see you next time for another Pal Plays The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, where once we go down there, we'll uncover some secrets, because there are secrets to be found. I see secret there. Secret. Secret. Sweet! I will see you next time for another Pal Plays The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword.
masked vandal, the masked vandal, the masked vandal, the spaz man. The masked vandal.